that drip. Ooh, the way she sung it. Yeah, boy. today with another twice reaction for you guys and today I will of course be continuing my album first listen um, for fancy you this is part two and part two will consist of the two tracks um, turn it up and strawberry only two tracks unfortunately but I'm excited to wrap up this album um, it's been a very very interesting album so I'm curious to hear what the next two songs uh, sound like. I feel like each and every song has been quite different. Also, I just want to say a lot of you have been requesting for me to react to um, oh shit, I forgot the channel. It's like the line distribution channel instead of the lyric videos but um, I have seen those line distribution videos for other groups and I find them extremely distracting. There's like a lot going on um, with the editing, the lyrics are like there and then it's got the line distribution on the side and if you guys didn't know I have ADHD and it's just really really distracting for me. I even don't like doing lyric videos as you guys know because I find them very very distracting. It's very very difficult for me to concentrate on the music which is my priority because I just get distracted easily um, so those videos aren't the best for me if there are other lyric videos that are more accurate that you guys want me to see let me know and I will do those but for now these sort of lyric videos are the best for me I'm not even concentrating on like what's going on most of the time anyway like I say um, I'm concentrating on the music their vocals and stuff like that um, but yeah I'm super super excited to finish this Let's just go. Okay, guys, let's go. Um, we're starting off, well, we're continuing with Turn It Up. Let's go. Oh, the bird sounds as well, the guitar. Just feel Okay. That bass.
guys know what I'm going to say. I think you guys know what I'm going to say already. There was no bridge. <laughs> Again, I don't know why there are no bridges on this album. <laughs> There's like been one bridge on this album so far. There was no bridge. However, the song worked a lot better for me compared to the other songs on this album without a bridge. Let me tell you why. Because we had the rapping during the second verse and I just feel like... The rapping, for me personally, has a better impact during the second verse instead of replacing the bridge, if that makes sense. Yeah, the bridge was missing, however, it wasn't replaced with the rap verse, if that makes sense. And the way the rap verse came in during the second verse, it just flowed really well. Does that make sense? When it was in place of the bridge, I just feel like the song didn't flow well. But putting the rap verse in the second verse and just completely removing the bridge, I think it worked a lot better for me. Um, and the final chorus that came in, even without the bridge, there was still sort of an impact. It was a lot more full and a lot more, yeah. Um, so even though there wasn't a bridge and I would have preferred a bridge, like that pre-chorus moment was so nice. If only they'd brought it back in again. It didn't even have to be a long bridge. It could be like another little pre-chorus into the very last chorus because that part was so nice. The melodies during that part as well. I'm not sure why there's like no bridges on this album. I don't know if it's something that they just didn't do a lot in their earlier albums. I mean, this isn't an old album or anything like that. But I'm, I'm curious as to why there's hardly any bridges on this album. But like I said, this song worked a lot more for me with the rap verse during the... Like, I actually enjoyed the rap verse when they came in during the second verse. Um, I like the funkiness of all. I really like the bass in this as well. It's very, very funky. Um, it was a good, it was a fun song. I'm still confused as to why there was no bridge. Confused why there was no bridge, but I still enjoyed it. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. We now have twice strawberry you guys tried to avoid the snakery and tried to warn me about this one you guys were talking about strawberry a lot um so i'm excited let's go hopefully it's a bridge in this one yeah 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 Yeah, you and me. Tucky, tucky, 
to the same stuff over and over and even if I'm reacting to stuff I like over and over it can still get boring so I like to react to things that I might not necessarily 100% vibe with on the first listen remember this is my first time hearing these songs so I think the fact that I've been able to sort of sit back and sort of dissect the songs and be like hey this is missing what's going what's going on here like hmm it's made it really really enjoyable for me I loved that song, I loved like the overall sound of that song, but there was no pre-chorus. <laughs> I've been moaning this whole time that there's been no bridges. There was kind of a, a very sort of stripped back bridge in this, um, which I enjoyed. It wasn't like a complete sort of switch up or anything like that, but the little sort of instrumental was stripped back and we had a little moment going on before we went into the last chorus and I enjoyed that. However, there was no pre-chorus um, and this song was such a nice song um, it would have been nice to have had just a nice little melodic little pre-chorus moment like a night you, you know what I mean with some of the ad-libs I don't know I'm just not sure why there wasn't a pre-chorus I'm not sure why in all the majority of the other songs we had pre-choruses in the bridge and then in this one we had sort of quite a minimal bridge but then like no pre-choruses very very interesting they have gone for something quite different in terms of your standard structure of songs especially k-pop songs um and it has thrown me off a bit i don't know how to explain it it's been different it's been different i feel like this album is definitely a grower for me and um, it's something that i'm gonna have to listen to a few times for me to adjust and sort of get used to there being no pre-chorus or no bridge um, and once i get used to that i'll be able to appreciate the songs a lot more because i generally enjoy the sounds and the vibes of the songs it's just that sort of feeling that there's been something a little bit missing um but i love the sound of that one it was very very summery um it went like the title of the song and the lyrics matched the sound very very well if i had to pick a top three of this album it would definitely be hot is my number one track of this album which is interesting because with an album lacking so many bridges that's one of the best twice bridges ever i kind of feel like they did it on purpose um, hot definitely that's my that's probably one of my favorite twice songs that song slaps um fancy and then strawberry that's probably my top three if you want to let me know your top three um let me know in the comments if you can't think of a top three let me know your favorite track on the album at least if not it's okay you don't need to i just like reading comments to see which songs are your favorite and see if we match up and yeah that's it guys i've got nothing else to say next week i'm gonna do another twice member i don't know who i'm gonna do next week though Hmm, I might do tail. I might do tail. Or I might do momo. I'm not sure. Let me know who you want me to do next week, this video you want me to do. And recommend a video as well if you want. And yeah, that's it guys. I've got nothing else to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Gonna find me on Instagram guys. Oh!